If you like comedy and funny memes from MMA and other sports, visit MMAMemes.com. On this page, you can find the best memes and create your own to share with the MMA community. At the end of each video, we will post the top three memes you have posted on MMAMemes.com. What are you waiting for? Create an account, explore, laugh, and upload your own memes today. <laughs> All right, let's get this show started. UFC welterweight Vicente Luque has noted that he hasn't heard Hamzat Chimaev say his name when discussing his next fight. During a recent Instagram Live, Luque spoke about a potential fight with Hamzat Chimaev and questioned why the Chechen star hasn't brought him up when discussing who he'll fight next. Here's the video. I mean, I definitely get the hype behind him. I mean, he has look, he, he looks great in the fights. He looks like a really strong guy. Uh, he goes out there and finishes every single fight. So I get the hype. I get why the UFC wants, you know, to put him in big fights. And, you know, a lot of people ask me about this fight. And I'm here. Uh, if he mentions my name, because I haven't heard him say my name. If he says my name, if the UFC sends me the contract, I'll sign that contract. That's, that's simple for me, you know. But he didn't mention my name. He said, I think he said, anybody in the top. Well, when, when somebody mentions my name and he goes and asks for that fight, I'll do it. I'll do it for sure. I think it's a great fight. It's an exciting fight. He's a beast. Uh, he has, you know, he goes in there and tries to finish the guy every single second. Not very different than what I do. So it, it would be a great fight for sure. And if he wants it, if he lets the UFC know and they let me know, we'll do it. After getting word of Luque's comments, Chimaev responded on his Twitter page. He wrote, If I say I want to fight everybody, it means everybody. I don't have to call every single fighter by their names. BMF belt is mine. UFC belt is mine too. I've heard there is going to be an event 5th of Mars in Vegas. And I don't understand why I still don't have an opponent. Dustin Poirier suffered another loss for the UFC lightweight title last Saturday at UFC 269 in Las Vegas. Speaking on episode 366 of the Believe You Me podcast, Michael Bisping discussed what's next for Poirier following the loss and whether he still has a chance to become UFC champion having lost two title fights against Khabib Nurmagomedov and now against Charles Oliveira. Here's the clip. You know what I mean? You gotta love this guy. And I felt so sorry for him because I know how much it meant to him. And I've spoken to him, you know, about this multiple times. 
you know, and he very kindly used me as an inspiration, which was very humbling. But I know, I, and there's other people as well, like Glover Teixeira. There's, 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 I'm not the only. There's lots of cases of people. Charles Oliveira himself that took the long way round, you know, and he wanted to be one of those guys. And it's not over. It's not necessarily over. Just because you just lost in a world title fight for the undisputed belt doesn't mean your career is in the trash can. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I think what they do is, I talked about this on my YouTube channel, so sorry to repeat myself if you saw it, but does this should take six months off? Just enjoy the spoils of his career. Go spend some time with his family, work on the Good Fight Foundation, just do whatever. Take a little time away from getting punched in the f***ing face, right? Spend some of that money, have a couple of vacations with your family. Um, and in the meantime, you let all the other top dogs fight it out amongst themselves. You let Justin Gagey go in and fight Charles. You let Benil and Islam fight each other, right? You let all the dust settle on all that situation. Then he can come back, probably have that fourth fight with Conor McGregor. And if he beats Conor McGregor and everyone else has just fought it out and it's time for whoever's got the belt at that point to fight someone, Dustin's the next man in line. As opposed to fighting four or five times, shit out, let those mother fight it out. Chris Cyborg was not surprised to see Amanda Nunes lose her bantamweight title to Juliana Pena at UFC 269. Speaking to Combat Sports on Fanatic's View, Cyborg reacted to Nunes's loss and accused the former champ of being a one-round fighter. Here's what she said. You know, I was not surprised. I picked Juliana Pena because of the five losses for Amanda Nunes, four were the same style as Juliana Pena. And before we knew Amanda Nunez's danger is in the beginning, in the first round. If you pass the first round with her, you can get in the fight. We knew this. Of course, when you fight her, you go fire to fire and that happens. You know, what happened. We knew that when she goes past the first round, she sees she cannot finish you. So she's either going to run away or quit on the floor or something. And this is what happened for Juliana Pena. I don't feel like Juliana did any sort of submission because she didn't have a submission the way she finished the fight. I feel like Amanda Nunes at one point, she sees she cannot finish and Juliana Pena continued going forward and she tapped. But Pena didn't have any submission. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.